बताने के लिए हम सभी के बीच में बहुत इस पब्लिक रिलेशन के कार्य में महान वक्तागण है इसमें बहुत सारी उन्होंने कार्य किए हुए हैं ऐसे सबसे पहले किनो स्पीच देंगे हम सभी के बीच में ब्रदर वाई बाबजी भाई बैठे हुए हैं आप हैदराबाद से पढ़ा रहे हैं आपका बायोडाटा बहुत ही तीन पेज का है तो मैं इतना तो बताते हुए केवल बताना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि तो महानुभाव बहुत इस कार्य में पब्लिक सेक्टर के कार्य में आपने बहुत कुछ कारोबार किए हुए हैं वाई बाप जी इज प्रेजेंटली सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ पब्लिक रिलेशन सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया ही दल्सो दी लीगल एडवाइजर टू पब्लिक रिलेशन सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया ही वॉज नेशनल वाइस प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ पी आर एस आई एंड चेयरमैन ऑफ हैदराबाद चैप्टर इन दी पास हार्बर नेशनल वाइस प्रेजिडेंट एडमिन एंड ग्लोबल फोरम फॉर पब्लिक रिलेशन बहुत सारा बायोडाटा है आपका वर्तमान समय आप सेक्रेटरी जनरल नेशनल काउंसिल पी आर एस आई हैदराबाद से पढ़ा रहे हैं आप इस विषय में अपनी चिंतन की धाराओं से हम सभी को अवगत कराएंगे वाई बाप जी आप वहाँ पर बैठ कर वहाँ पर माइक पर भी आए Chairperson of the present dialogue session, Sister B K Sarula Anand. She is the national coordinator, as everybody is aware. National coordinator of media wing of Raj Yoga Education and Research Foundation here, and she is also president, national president of Global Public Relations Forum. And guests of honor. There are also speakers. My friend Mr. Ravindran is from NTPC. Brother Varadha Prasanna Das, additional director, retired IMBR department, Bhuvaneshwar, is from Odisha. And my friend Dr. Vedova Pandey, chairman of Hyderabad chapter of Public Relations Society of India, <coughs> is a PRO of a big. Open University that is Dr. D R Ambedkar Open University in Hyderabad. Brother C J Singh, my friend for several decades, he is President and CEO of Core P R from Chandigarh. Brother Kuldeep Singh Banga, he is D P R District Public Relations Officer from Panipat, Haryana. Sister Sujata S Sujata, and of the dais. Chairman Emeritus Public Relations Council of India, Sri Jai Ram, and Mr. Jitendra Bardwa, ex Air India, and Mr. T Vinay Kumar, the current National President of Public Relations Council of India, and the sister coordinator of this session, B K Vidya of Media Wing of R E R F, and B K Anita of Media Wing of R E R F, Indore, Madhya Pradesh, and Arati. Sister Arati, member of, member of uh, Press Council of India, and several members of Ram Chandra, here of University in Hyderabad, and several other other dignitaries. We are here for a dialogue on the topic public relations, a profession of concern and compassion. <coughs> It is inbuilt into the National Media Conference 2022 with the theme. solution based media towards prosperous bharat now the topic public relations is it a profession of concern and compassion yes public this word has come from the greek word publicus it means of the people about the people and it relates to human beings who are adults public is as against private it is always public affairs not private affairs and it deals with always with the, the group of people a community and a society and coming to the relations 
relations is about bonding it is about connections public connections not private connections it is about concerns and emotional bonds and of interactions and pure in simple if we look at the characteristics of public relations it is an art of getting the things done not by hook or crook it is always by fair means it is also said to be an art and a science of maintaining relations you know this is an art an art can be improved upon each time you perform therefore this is an art of maintaining public relations public relations is also called as a science of public relations maintaining relations you know the nature of science the science indicates precision each time you give the same input inputs the result will be same every time that is the nature of science therefore public relations is called an art and science of maintaining relations and public relations i am talking about uh, the characteristics of public relations it is an effective motivation and two way communication it motivates it persuades people the targeted people the specified people always the concerned people not the general public the people connected with the government policies or programs are the people connected with the organization the specific target specifically targeted people this is maintenance and then achieving identity achieving image and achieving the reputation of whom not the self not the pr practitioners but of the organization for which the public relations practitioners work and public relations is simply stripped to its originality it is performance and recognition pr stands for performance and recognition if you perform you will definitely be recognized it is not dancing attendance dancing attendance is different from performing and seeking recognition and technically public relations is a management function what is management function it is involved in planning and executing the things public relations is involved at that level it is a specialized management function means expertise is involved in the practice of public relations therefore it is a specialized management function and then it is a strategic management function we always adopt certain strategies in implementing the aims and objectives of the organization because the pr goals are in consonance with the overall objectives goals vision mission aims and objectives of the organization then this is a unique management function it is unique because it is distinct unlike other professions it is unique because it 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 has a specific uh, uh, qualification to be acquired and it has to be practiced in consonance with the objectives of the organization and it is managing information and communication you know what is information information is generally said to be static when it is moved from one place to the other it becomes a communication information is available everywhere it can be in the book it can be in a device it can be in the library it can be even in your mind but to that extent it is information only when it is moved disseminated given from one place to the other transmitted then it becomes communication therefore public relations deals with information managing information and communication now look at a few very few two or three definitions given to the public relations according to british institute of public relations it is called chartered institute of public relations the definition given to public relations profession is it's a deliberate planned and sustained efforts to establish and maintain mutual understanding between the organization and its public deliberate sustained 
planned effort to establish and to maintain continuously. Maintain meaningful relations between the organization and the public concern. Similarly, Public Relations Society of America, they have given a definition of public relations. It is strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationship between organizations and their bodies. Similar to the definition given by British Institute of Public Relations. Now come to India. It's a daily application of common sense, common courtesy, common etiquette and common decency. Because this public relations is inbuilt into the culture of public relations, into the culture of India. So therefore, it is a daily application of common sense, common courtesy, common decency and common etiquette. We know if anybody visits us, we, we will inquire about their welfare, about their family, about their children, about their health. We offer them some water, make them sit comfortably and we, 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 we express our concern for the guests. That itself is public relations according to our Indian understandings. Now, PR, what to do with government? PR with the government, we know the state has transformed from license fair state. License fair means non-interference. The government, till 100 years, still recently, 100 years ago, up to 100 years ago, the situation was license fair. License fair does mean non-interference or minimum interference. And then the state has transformed from that state to police state. Police state means it protects the people from the external threats. The external threats. And then the, slowly the concept of welfare came in. So there started the profession of public relations. Now the situation has transformed from public be damned to public be informed necessarily Government will be informing targeted people about the plans, programs, schemes, policies, freebies, what not, everything. So from the situation of public be damned to the public be informed, this is the situation. At this situation, at this point of time, public relations is much sort of the profession. Now, public relations for the government or for any organization is the mouthpiece and antenna. Mouthpiece is for dissemination of information. Antenna is to gather the information. That is feeding the information forward and gathering the feedback. And PR is all for development news. Not the rumors, not the grapevine, not any hoax. It is meant only for the dissemination of development news. Now the question is, the first question of the dialogue session is, is it a profession of concern? What is concern? Concern for the organization, because a public relations practitioner is always works with an organization, be it government or a public sector under undertaking or a private establishment or a, a, a business house or an industrial establishment. He works for an organization. And every organization will have its own targeted people or public, they are called concerned public. Now the concern of a public relations practitioner, one on the other side for the organization, the, the interests of the organization. On the other side, the welfare of the public connected to that organization. This is the concern. Now let us list out the concerns, PR concerns. Persuasion and motivation. Public relations will not impose anything, just like advertising. So now you know the meaning of advertising. Advertise means to draw attention, that's all. You draw the attention, give them whatever you want. No ethics, no morals, no values involved in that. But in public relations, it is always based on truth. It is always based on facts. There is no scope for public relations to utter anything other than truth and facts. Therefore, it is with persuasion and motivation, the message that has to be conveyed to the public, targeted public, will be conveyed. What for? 
to achieve the objectives of the organization for which the PR practitioner is working. Then this is called consent engineering. The other name of for public relations practice is called consent engineering and also human engineering. While the media practices social engineering, society as a whole, public relations is meant for consent engineering and consent will lead to public opinion and that opinion, public opinion is the foundation for any a democracy. Therefore, it is not uh, social engineering. Social engineering is left for media people, but human engineering is done by the public relations professionals. And we have also, public relations practitioners, have concern for citizen journalism because you cannot neglect. In the morning session, in the morning session, uh, Director General of uh, IAMC was telling that 99% of the news come from social media sources only. The mainstream has gone. You know, the mainstream, mainstream legacy communication, mainstream media, traditional media is called print and electronic, that is radio and television. Now we are living in an era of information revolution. And it, it, it is the concern of the public relations practitioners to watch for what is good and what is not, what is true and what is fake, and you are the watchman of information. And information pollution. This is the concern of public relations practitioners. Information environment is being polluted by two major pollutants. One is misinformation and the other one is disinformation. Misinformation is unintentional because we get something, we forward it to somebody without knowing what it is, without verifying the with the authenticity, without verifying the source. That is called misinformation. But disinformation is dangerous one because you do it with some mens rea, with some intention to cause some damage, to cause some chaos, to cause some misunderstanding. So these two are the pollutants of information, environment, and public relations practitioner will have to have a major concern to watch for this and then see that only the right kind of information reaches the targeted public. That PR concern is other thing. It is a profession of morals, ethics, and values. Two more minutes. Because seven minutes for a keynote at this is insufficient. I thought that there will be a, an arrangement for PowerPoint presentation so that I could conclude it within the time. But now <laughs> it is open. I will go beyond the seven minutes, two minutes, just two minutes. So PR concerns. PR is a profession, as I told you, it is a profession of ethics, morals, and values. Ethics, what is ethics? It is a set of principles, behavior, philosophy, with honesty, loyalty, integrity, responsibility, and social responses. Unlike others, PR is more concerned about ethics, morals, and values. And what are the other concerns? The other areas of PR concern is when it is the question of crisis. You know what is crisis? Crisis can be any disorder, can be a disruption, can be a disturbance or a calamity. These crises are of two kinds. One is man-made and the other one is natural. The man-made can be a fire, can be a road accident, vehicular accident, can be a strike, can be a financial crisis or even a war. But when you come to the natural calamities, crises, it is floods, cyclones, earthquakes, droughts, and even diseases like corona. In all these things, public relations practitioners are a must for giving out, for disseminating the correct information to the public so that there won't be any chaos in the communities. And the second question is, is it a profession of compassion? Yes, compassion. I'll give you an example of CSR. CSR is an exercise of compassion. What is compassion? CSR, corporate social responsibility. Corporate is a legal personality. Just like a group of people put together and given a name registered, it is called a corporate organization. It is a juristic person, a legal personality. And social responsibility is giving back to the society. Whatever a corporate organization takes from the society will be given back in a different form. 
The sun is the best example of corporate social responsibility. You know how clouds are formed, how rain occurs. The sun, because of its heat, it absorbs moisture from every source, from the tank, from the lake, from river, rivulet, stream, and even a drain, and even from our body, overhead tanks, everywhere it absorbs moisture and then forms clouds and give it back wherever it is necessary. So corporate social responsibility says the organizations do ethical business. So public relations practitioner is in charge of corporate social responsibility exercises. Similarly, the corporate organization will give back to the society. You remember, you, uh, you just recall any major organization, they will have a corporate social responsibility activities. So there are several activities which I need not uh, tell you. So these are the two things which public relations will uh, basically have and this is very apt uh, uh, topic for discussion. Sarala sister has fixed this uh, topic for this organization, very defeating and uh, uh, it's a framework public because public relations framework being ethics, morals and values concern for organizational goals we have for public concern for public perceptions and concern for unpolluted information and concern for media relations and concern for citizen journalism and the compassion part of it compassion for public good compassion for sympathetic and empathetic activities of the organization in 2008 brother karunabai chairman of this media conference and Sister Sarala, in association with the PR legend, Dr. Narsim Hariti, late Narsim Hariti. They have formed an organization called Global Forum for Public Relations with one task that is called Golden Triangle. Golden Triangle means professionalism, ethics and spirituality. People have mistaken. Spirituality means maybe like a religious thing associated with the Brahmakumaris and all that. But spirituality has nothing to do with any other religion. Spirituality is having faith in God and having compassion towards the other living beings, not only human beings. So, with this, uh, uh, I conclude my uh, uh, keynote. Thank you very much, Sarala sister. Thank you. Thank you, Brahmakumaris.